The Olympics are here. Yes, we're all excited for the Olympics. I was sitting there with the family watching last night. Saw some archery, some equestrian, all the sports nobody really want to watch. <laughs> they like, all right, this is going to be a slow build. <laughs> we know y'all ain't really stunting all of these sports right now. But it was some swimming, some gymnastics. I like that. But they're going to save that track and field. Basketball is going to as well, but I just can't lie. I ain't watching no international basketball like that. Holla at me when it's the gold medal game, and then we chop it up. But point being, it all started with something controversial. It started with something that, once again, divided the people. And I just want to know what y'all think about this. So, there was a performance, opening day ceremonies. We've come a long way since LA 84, <laughs> you know, where you just see our Muhammad Ali in Atlanta, 96, you know, with the torch. It's different now. It's different now. In the name of inclusion, we have now included everything. And that's going to be the conversation. So tell me what you think after you see this opening day ceremony. Let go. It's a lot of Skittles. Starburst. Okay, now. That is... You can say man because woman has man in it too. It's a woe or it's a man, but it's woman. <laughs> I mean, we already know what we are. You're doing the most. You made that right turn in New York somewhere. And you're like, oh. Now, this is coming. Saira, as I said, Asiat Saira. All will be well. Well, this part of the it's ceremony big. is entitled Liberty and the Quest for Liberty. No, got the discus, javelin, something. Oh no, more. Oh wait a minute. One, two, three. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that look like the Last Supper. They gonna say. Mm. Ooh, y'all think y'all slick? <laughs> okay. All right. Y'all know me, man. I see both sides of the coin. And I'm really conflicted on this one. And conflicted meaning really understand where both sides are coming from. But let me raise my hand first and foremost and get this out the way. I would have not greenlit that as an opening ceremony. <laughs> let me tell you why. Um, because I'm always thinking from the ground up. I'm always thinking foundational from the itty bitties to the adulthood. I'm not trying to appease what adults truly need in their sensibilities. When is something that is inclusive? I'm thinking about the kids and their impressions of things more so than adults and how they can take things, stand things, or criticize things, right? So give it to you like this. I'm not transgender, y'all know that. I'm not gay, y'all know that. And any other thing that was represented there. Um, I am Christian, right? But I'm not easily offended either because my belief goes greater than your disruption. So if I believe I'm going to win and you oppose me, that's competition and I'm going to defeat you. Or I'm not even going to go against you because I already know I can beat you or I will beat you. You ever been in that place where you don't even contest it because you already know you're on the right side, you're already doing the right thing. So I don't get easily offended because I'm like, eh, you trying to get me off my square. You trying to disrupt my energy. Negativity needs negatives, <laughs> right? So if something is coming to dissuade you, the only way it can do it is if you give it the opportunity. And I'm talking to those who are conservative, devout, or who are easily offended by that. I raise my hand and say, I agree with you in terms of me checking some of the same boxes as you, but I'm not offended. Then there's those who are like, I am so offended. And you're so offended because that's not respectful. That's not putting us in the best light. That's also slanting what culture looks like universally. Here's the problem. There is no universal culture, right? This is the Olympics. You're trying to say, that's not representing what I think. Well, it's not just about you. All right, well, that's not representative of what most people think. It's not about most of y'all, <laughs> it's about all. And that's where the word inclusion comes in, inclusive. Here's the thing. When you're talking inclusion, you truly are, if you're going to do it right, 
going to have to include everything. Because there was a day where nothing was included except a very narrow scope of people. The wasp of the world. Remember back in those days? And then it was very little representation of color. And then it was very little representation of women, and et cetera. Y'all get it. So you got to kind of start from the bottom. And you got to start from the beginning. Now let's talk about the bottom. Let's talk about these kids who are looking at these impressions, who are looking at these things, and parents who are sitting with their kids who have to explain these things. And this is the tough part, right? Because I want the kids to grow up whole. But whole means all. And if all is whole, that's inclusion. So what do you do with these images? Do you not show them? And then one day, whoa. I know in my school, I know in my life, I know everywhere we go, we are dealing with those type of images. Why? Because they exist in reality. So the wrong question is, that, is asking who's offended, who's not offended, right? First of all, that's just lateral. I'm mad. You mad. I'm mad. What are we going to do? Not do it. No, we already did it. So what I'm going to do? Don't do it again. Once again, that's the wrong question. Because there are people who live that way. There are people who are like that. Now ask me and ask any father I've ever met. Do I want my son, do I want my kid to be a drag queen? No, no one ever has raised their hand to say I want that, but it exists. So what do you do with that? You see where this is really going and what it's really about? It's about you, whoever you are that's offended, not wanting something but it exists in reality. Ah. Once again, this will got you all wired up, riled up, your ire all came from there is something you don't desire to see. You don't actually live through. You actually don't embody, but it exists. What are you to do? Man, I, I, I ain't going to lie. The most, like, off-putting, the most in-the-corner whisper conversation I have with adults right now is how do you deal with an ever-changing world that is so inclusive, it's including things that you don't want your kids to be involved with, right? We all know the stories of, a, like, a Dwayne Wade and letting his son now transgender to a daughter, just as a poster child, using them as a poster child since we all know who they are, et cetera. You know, I, I've heard of kids that go to school and they're not even transgendering. They say that they're animals and parents are allowing it. Ah, uh, you know, some of the images you see and everything is coming to you so much deeper because of the prolifer proliferacy of media. It's just everywhere. Look at everybody's doing something. And it's coming to them earlier, right? Earlier. I hear my kids have conversations about who can wear dresses. And literally, when I grew up, it wasn't a conversation. It was a monologue. It was, boys don't wear dresses. Say something. I dare you. Rap. That was the end of it. That was in the 80s. Now, 2024, I hear my kids. Boys can wear dresses. No, they can't. Yes, they can. Why can't they? So-and-so did. TV timeout. <laughs> TV timeout. What are we doing here? So I don't think this was about Kristen's being sensitive or, hey, you're disrespecting us and trying to show something about the Last Supper. When in reality, I thought imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Oh, no, no, no. We ain't talking about religion. We talking about everything else. Uh -uh. <sighs> they have come out and refuted that they were really trying to poke fun of or truly try to come at anybody and said in full apology that that wasn't their intentions. Their intentions, actually, they say, were to poke fun. Some of the, some of the, the French and other people of our times who had gluttony, they said. This is art. Um, and they also said that they were trying to show that this world is bigger than what it traditionally has been represented as. Even if you're mad, even if you got to explain to your kids, and this is one thing about parents we got to get off of, 
Stop wanting someone else to raise your kids. Look around. Let them learn to run the hurdles. Let them learn to navigate around ills and adversity, if you call those things that. But stop living in a world where you think that your bubble is the bubble. Because <laughs> it's not like that anymore. I know these images will happen. I know, I actually know a kid that transgendered. You imagine that, you know, like everything, fear of the unknown until you know it. People talked a lot of trash about black people until they started to hang with black people or know black people going way back. Y'all know it. You know, we have a lot of conversations that alter once we get around it. You know, oh, man, I ain't never, oh, 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 forget that. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Hey, that's your son's friend now. Hello. Oh, I ain't let my friend, son hang with him. Oh, bigotry one-on-one. -on -one. Hatred one -on -one. I know, it's tough. Trust me, I am not siding. I'm just rolling. <laughs> I'm rolling with the way it's going. But I'm making sure my hands are always on that wheel, making sure I know how to spin it for my family. Hopefully you guys do the same, because if you try to take a global stance and say that's wrong, you're going to have three fingers pointing back at you, saying, what'd you say? Because that's the world that we all.